G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy. If you're new here, my name is Tech, and I'd like to acknowledge the uh, traditional custodians of the land that I live and work on, which is the Wajuk people of Noongar Buja. Now, today I've got delivery from UPS of a box from New York, and those of you who recognize this box and uh, where it's from in New York will realize these are a new pair of Parkhurst boots. Okay, so this has arrived from Parkhurst Boots, um, and uh, it's just an unboxing of some new boots. So let's see what's, uh, uh, what boots they are. Uh, as always, despite the new Parkhurst uh, 2.0 brand, um, the box is a, or should be, a dual-purpose box where it's the shipping box and the actual box itself. So let's take a look. So there you go. Um, the usual Parkhurst thank you card, signed by Andrew Savisco. Shipping notice. So this time they come in uh, black tissue paper. Uh, the boots are wrapped in plastic. And there is, from what I can see, a single boot bag rather than one for each boot. So let's take out the boots. They uh, come with rounded laces in the eyelets, and there is a spare pair of what looks like flat very skinny uh, wax cotton laces. So let's clean this up and take a look at the boots in some detail. These are the gaucho mousse. Now I already have a pair of gaucho mousse, um, but those are the Richmond style boot with a toe cap and much, much lighter than these. They're both from CF Stead, I understand. This is the Allen pair uh, of boots. Um, and let's take a look in some detail. So the Gaucho Moose is a Scandinavian elk. Some really fantastic texture on the leather with some scars and different nicks um, that the animal has obviously gathered during its life. There are... Um, let's just undo these laces. There are um, one, two, three, four, five brass eyelets and three speed hooks. The tongue is semi gusseted up to the eyelets. The uh, comfort insole also looks like it's um, uh, in elk or moose. From what I can see on this quick pass-through, the stitching in the new build by Parkhurst, made in Spain, is pretty good. Double stitching very close together uh, on the backstay, single piece backstay. Very close together double stitching on the quarter with a third stitch to give it strength. Excellent quality of stitching. Uh, it's a split reverse Goodyear welt where the welt is split and then part of it is flanged upwards to give it a little bit more uh, water protection. You can see the layers in the rubber outsole, uh, leather midsole and then the welt. And it has a Parkhurst branded commando sole, quite similar to its hide and uh, Vibram Commando soles. Take a look at the other boot. And again, you know, I, I, I can't see any misstitching. Look at the patterning on that, on that moose, quite amazing. You know, I, I actually think this construction from uh, Parkhurst's new 
Spanish factory is actually better than the old uh, factory in upstate New York. The end-to-end uh, -end meeting of the welt is quite well hidden. The stitching looks good. The new 602 modified last looks a little slimmer in the ball of the feet, but we'll find out when we put them on feet. So that's the next step. I'm going to put these on feet. Here we go. Let's get these on feet. Slips in very nicely. Um, definitely the right size in my usual 8 uh, D from Parkhurst. This is in their modified 602 last or 602M last. So it's a slightly different feel from their original 602s. I think the toe box is um, a little longer. There's a little bit more room in my uh, the front of my toes than the normal last. And this is definitely a bit more snug than the original 602. There's a little bit more volume as well. I like the way um, Park has designed their lasts. There's a lot of feeling of comfort in the shape of the toes. These uh, Gaucho Moose uppers feel a lot firmer than the Richmond's, which were so soft and cloth-like, almost, almost canvas textured. These are quite a lot firmer. Feel good though. A little bit more breaking involved. And I think the uh, veg tanned midsole is going to uh, create some need for breaking in of the uh, sole. They feel comfortable. Okay, let's take them for a walk. They feel extremely comfortable walking. Um, the gait of the bend of the sole fits my walk. Yeah, I, I definitely feel the snugness of the ball of the a foot a lot more than in the original 602 last. Toes are roomy though, very comfortable. Quite happy with these. So now let's uh, break them in. There you go. Uh, that's the unboxing of these new Parkhurst Allen boots in Gaucho Moose, a very different Gaucho Moose from the uh, uh, Richmond's that I already had, which uh, I'll put a, a picture of just about here. Um, I'm finding these quite different in makeup in the sense that I think they're a little bit stiffer than that one, even though those were also on a uh, commando sole. Uh, I think those were on an It's Hide Commando sole. I'm really loving the texture of this, this mousse leather or Scandinavian elk. The colouring is extremely different despite it being called Gaucho Mousse from Charles F. Stead, exactly the same as the Richmond pair. The colouring in this is uh, darker, greyer, even greener um, and will make a, a, a very different pair to look at. So I hope you like the unboxing. Um, keep uh, watching because I will bring you a, uh, a subsequent uh, initial impressions review of what I think of these boots once I've broken them in. That might take about um, six or eight weeks uh, and I'll bring you a video then. And then ultimately after about six months where I'll bring you another full and deeper review of these boots. So. Before you go, don't forget to click on like and subscribe and uh, keep watching my channel because I'll have a lot more boot reviews to bring to you. And until then, take care guys and uh, I'll see you soon.